Hello, my glorious lot. Welcome back to my series from the Omega Minecraft Zoo server. In this episode, we carry on building the flamingo exhibit. And things don't go quite to plan. No, 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 no. I had to change my plans quite a bit, actually, in the end. I mean, I never knew that flamingos could fly quite so high. But I got it sorted in the end. Let me show you. Right, let me stand back and see how this is going. Let me see. Hello, Antita. Well, that's not coming on too badly. It's a bit even at the bottom, I think. I need to just vary where they end. Bring that down. Bring that down as well. Okay, let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's looking better. Just need to take it up to that tree now. Nearly done on this bit, I think. Right, are we there yet? Oh, I think that's that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. It's that group of three there that looks a bit even. Let's see if I can add one to this bit here. And bring that one down a bit. And that should do it then. Yeah. Okay, and one there. There we go. There we go. That's it. I just wanted to soften the edges of this glass on the outside by putting some greenery on it. I need my dead bushes for that. I've put podsel where I'm going to have my dead bushes. And above it, I'm going to have these leaf blocks. Let me just put my dead bush in here so you can see what I mean. There we go. And another one here. I'm going to do this all the way around. Let me get my dirt. There we go. And I'm just going to get this looking like it's growing over the top and onto the inside. And I probably, I might add some more later. I'm not quite sure. We'll see. There we go. Lighting can be a big problem as well. But I'm going to hide some lighting quite low down in front there. I just want a hint of a light, really. So can I get that down there? Yep. And I'm just going to put a torch on there and then a couple of leaf blocks. So I'll spread that around, I think, on the inside. Now, I've been looking at something to put on top of the glass because I don't want it just to be um, naked, if you like, really. I'm going to try carpets first. Uh, no, they don't go in the machinist workbench, do they? They go in... Um, we've got a loom, haven't we? That's what it is. I haven't made one of those yet, actually. Let's have a look, see what it looks like. A uh, loom, there it is. Loom. Oh, that's easy peasy. Right, I think I've got everything for that. Let's have a look. Yep, there it is. Right, where shall I put this? Uh, let's put it in that little gap there. Ooh, it really does look like a loom as well. Let me get those in there. Ooh, you can't see what they're like very well. Well, I'm just going to do three random patterns and then I'll lay them out on the floor and we can have a closer look. Let me see. There's that one. That one and that one. Huh. Well, I don't really like any of those. I think I'll try again for another three random carpets. Let's see. Let's try not to pick the ones we've already picked. That one. That one. And that one. First three. Right, let's have a look at these. Oh, I don't like those either. That one looks like the original one. Let me try that one again. Uh, there we go. It's hard to tell. I think we'll just try them on the glass and see what they look like. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to like any of these at all, to be honest. No. I think I need something thicker. Maybe I should be looking at trapdoors. Well, I'm going to try these thatch trapdoors. I quite like the look of these. I like the colour as well. And I'm quite liking them. Yeah, I quite like those. Let me put a few more on. There we go. All the way to the end. Uh, oh, that's a long line of uh, leaves. Right, let me have a look at that. Let me get over here. Oh yeah, I quite like that. I like that a lot, actually. 
Okay, that's the one. I want to see what a path looks like on the outside of this glass. Because people will be coming up to the glass and walking up and down. So that would be well-trodden grass, I think. And that's looking okay, I think. I quite like that. Yeah, I think I'll leave that there. Now, I've just taken a little break and I just want to see if I can collect all the variants of the flamingos. I've just got four left to do. Oh, gosh, they're a noisy lot, aren't they? My goodness. Right, what's this one? Uh, a James's flamingo. Yep, I need that one. Let me just get my net out and before it flies away. Don't you fly away! Come back, come back! Oh, I can't get it while it's in the air. There we go. Flamingo captured. Nice. Next up, and what are you? A Chilean flamingo. Oh, I've got one of you already. Nope. Uh, I want to get to that one over there. And there's a spider. Let me take a round route. Let's have a look. An Andean flamingo. Yes, I'll have you, I think. Let me just get this on here. Thank you. Excuse me. Coming through. Pop that in there. Right. Uh, not you, Hornbill. I'll come back for you later. I'm not doing you at the minute. Now then. We've got another one. Uh, let's see. Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, I'll have to go somewhere else now. Oh, dear. Right, looking for more, looking for more. Oh, there's a group there, look. There we go. Now then, there's a few on here. Oh, this is very high up. Let's have a look. Uh... Chilean. No, don't need you. Lesser Flamingo. I do need you. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, was that you? No, you're a James's Flamingo. I've got you. I'm sure it was that one. Let's have a look at you. An Andean. No, I've had you already. Come here, don't be flying away. No, Chilean, it must have been this one. A lesser flamingo. Thank you. Come with me. Right, I'm back. Still two more to get, but I want to do a bit of work on the inside now. And the first thing I want to do is to create some muddy areas because flamingos sift the mud through their bills and sift out all the little creatures in the mud and the water. So we need to make a lot of muddy areas and a water bucket and some dirt is how you make mud. So that's that's quite neat. I don't have to go out looking for it. So that's all right. Right. Let me have a look. I wonder if the water remains in the bucket when you've made some mud or if it sucks it out. I bet it'll have sucked it out. So I think I need a few few bits of water. Oh, my, my inventory is just so bad and I really need to get it sorted. Oh, and I've got two shulkers there as well with everything in it from my trip. Right, I've sorted all that. Now let's make some mud. So, if I use a stack of dirt... Oh, yeah. I'll need eight buckets for a stack of dirt. I think I've got some buckets somewhere. Right, I've got some mud. Let's have a look. Um... I'm thinking there would be muddy patches all over the place. I don't think the whole thing needs to be mud. I don't think so. I think that'd be a bit boring anyway, so let's just do some patches and see what it looks like. I brought some mushroom blocks as well, just to vary the texture, but I'm not quite sure if I need them, actually, because you're not going to see the texture very well under the water. So I think I'll just stick with the mud for now. Let's have a look. Let's get this sand out. That's a nice big patch. If I fill that, that'd be quite good. Pop this in there. There we go. I'll do that all about. And let's see what it looks like. There needs to be some mud on this top level as well. Same level as the grass, I think. I need to put quite a few of those in. I mean, there's always muddy areas around a pond, isn't there? Now I want to put some extra bits of land in this wide open bit here. Um, yeah, because I want to get a tree in and I want to get some plants in as well. So I want it to be very irregular though. It wants to be looking like it's just sort of natural. 
I'm going to follow the shape of that mud patch on the bottom because that was there naturally. That was naturally spawned like that. So I can't go wrong with that, really. I'll just bring this out a bit. And bring it out from this end as well. From the side into the middle, again, following that patch. Although I made that patch, but it still looks pretty natural to me. There we go. A bit more around this side. A bit more mud here as well. And I'll just lay some more mud underneath the water, just there. Right, a big mud patch there, so I'll leave that there. Oh, I think that looks a bit odd, so I'm going to have that in there. And then bring this round here, so it's lining the, uh, the grass. Right, let me get some plants in now. We've got some water silk. That's quite good. Um, let me see, some duckweed. I'll have some of that. And some water hyacinths. Uh, reeds. I've got one. I'm sure I've got some more uh, back at the base. So I'll have to pick some more up. And I want to try and make a willow sapling. I'm not sh quite sure where to put it. I think in that muddy it looks quite good. I think this should go somewhere in the middle. So it's not too close to any of these trees at the back. Um, would it be too close over here? Let's have a look. It is fairly close, isn't it, really? Um, what about that bit over there? I wonder if it could go in the water, actually. Could it go in the water? Oh, oh, I thought it was going to do then. No, that's no good then. So it has to go on a piece of land. So I think maybe it's this piece here. Can I put that there? Okay, I need some bone meal. Right, let's see if I can make this grow. I don't want to wait for it to grow by itself. I need to see it now. Let's have a look. Oh, straight away. Oh, that is a big tree. Oh my goodness. Do I want it that big? I'm going to leave it there for now. See how I feel about it. Start off with the water silk. And I'll put this down liberally because there seemed to be a lot where I saw this. I think that's probably about enough. Right, my one reed. I'll put that there. And get some more later. Yep, and then the cattails. I've got quite a few of these. Okay, can I put some up here? Yeah, I'll put them on along the edge there. I think they have to go on the edge, actually. They're like uh, sugar cane. Now some water lettuce. I quite like these. I quite like how the roots hang down into the water. I like them a lot. And the last one can go over there. Now for some duckweed. We'll spread this fairly liberally as well. Right, I've got a few bromelades here. Not so many, but I uh, don't need a lot of these. Let me see. Let me put one um, in the middle, I think, somewhere. Let's have a look. One there and one there. And I've got these yellow ones as well, which are quite nice. Put those over there. Uh, one back here. Just so it catches the eye as you're looking around. One over there. And I think... Can I put one over here? And I've got some tiny lily pads, which I quite like. Um, I like them better than the big ones anyway. So I'm going to dot these about and in not places where they're going to be troublesome. So in corners, I think, uh, is the best bet for these. I like these red root floaters as well. They sort of uh, just add a little bit of colour. Pop one there. There. Yep. Now we obviously need something on the pond floor and I quite like this uh, Java moss. I think that uh, I put a lot of this in. It just gives you that hint of green from the bottom. Now then, water hyacinths. Now I know when you place these, sometimes you get a flower and sometimes you don't. And I don't know if it's random or whether you... I don't know. That one gave me a flower. Can I get another one over here? Maybe over there? No, that one didn't give me a flower. Can I have another one? No. Oh dear. Oh, there's one. That's all right. Let's see if I can get a few more in. Another one there. Now, a little splash of colour with these orchids. 
I do like orchids. I'll put one right there next to that bromelade. Right, we'll have one right in the middle. And we'll have one over here. And one over this side as well. And can we get another one on this side? Because you can see some over there. Can't see any of this. Oh, I can see that one there. Is that one everywhere? Maybe one right up at the top here somewhere? Let's see. Let's pop it there. Now, another thing I found out googling flamingos is that they sit on their nests, which are made of piles of mud. And the piles of mud have sort of like a hole in the middle, I assume, where the eggs go. And um, yeah, they come up out of the water to keep the eggs safe. So I'm just looking at, yeah, I quite like that. I quite like that texture. So let's have a look and see what we can make over here. Um, let's have one over here. Uh, oh, I can't place that. Oh, no, that's no good. I think that was that. Uh, let's get that out of the way. Try again. Why can't I place this? Let me just get up here. Let me do it from this side. That's better. That's it. Okay. Um, can I put that in the middle? Bring it up? Hmm. I'm thinking stairs. There we go. There we go. I think that's that's the nearest I can get to um, a mound <laughs> in the middle. Let's have a look from over here. Yeah, I think that looks fairly convincing. I mean, you know, you haven't got a lot of scope, have you, in Minecraft? So I'm going to put another one here. Um, get rid of that. That's it. I wonder if I could get a bird to sit on this, a flamingo. They do move about quite a lot though, don't they? Let's pop that in there. Okay. And, and some piles of leaves as well. We'll put these round here. Some over here. Oh, you can't put them on the mud. That's no good. There we go. Just adds a bit of texture to the grass, which is quite good. Quite like that. Now, some uh, bone meal in now, I think. Because all this would be overgrown. Not that tall, I don't think. No. Just, just sh Now, I'm going to get the flamingos in. I also have some Corridoras that I captured in a bio. So, I'm going to put some of those in, just for a bit of movement underneath the water. I think those will go in well, I think. Right, so let's have a look. I'm going to release the Corridoras first. Let's see how they go. Put one there. Oh my goodness me! They look, look more like a rat than a fish. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness, that is so fast. Can I get my... Can I get to label it? Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> They've all got to be name tagged, of course. Otherwise, the half hourly um, cull would uh, mean that we wouldn't have any left. So... Let's release another one there. Oh, they do move fast. There we go. Okay, I had so many things to name this week as well that I haven't asked for any offers, but if anybody has a name they'd like, either the fish or the flamingos, do write me in the comments below and you will get a fish or a flamingo named after you or anybody you want it named after. Let me see... How many have I got left now? I've got two more. Let's see. Let's put one over here. If I can get through this silk, this water silk. Oh, there you go. And one more over here. Let's see. Put one over this side. Oh, this net is empty. Oh, I thought I had... Oh, I thought I had six, but I only had five. Oh, let me get over here. Let me take that out. I was on a raid earlier, but um, it didn't go so well and the server sort of had it a little bit of a hiccup. I think because there were too many people there. Right, okay then. So, let me start with the flamingos then. Let's pop these away and get the flamingos in. So, same thing. I've just called the flamingos flamingo for now. 
So any offers of names and I will go in and change them. But I wanted to see them in. Right, I'm going to try and spread these all around if I can. So that they're all over everywhere. Right, can I get one to sit in one of these? Oh! Oh, he came out flying. Oh well, never mind. There you go, Flamingo. How are you finding that then? Do you like your new habitat? Oh look, he's so excited. He's saying, oh, I want to sit over here. Or stand over here, should I say. Right then, let's uh, pop one there. Yeah, they all come out flying, do they? I don't know. At least he's not flying away and I can name him. There you go. Let's have another one over here. Oh, have you come over? There you go. Another one there. Yeah, they all seem to come out flying. A bit weird if you ask me, but there you go. Because they weren't flying when I caught them. <laughs> wow. Populating my fl flamingo exhibit. I'm loving this. Uh, oh, that there's nothing in there. There's nothing in there either. So I've just got two more in here. I've got some more in the uh, in the sugar box though. Let's pop you there. There we go. I think I'll have a. I think I'll try and get one on a nest. I think I'll try for that nest over there. Let me see. I wonder if it'd be better with some dirt in it actually. Let's see. Get over there. Let me take this out. Where's my uh, axe? There it is. Get that out and put some dirt in the bottom. Now then, could I get one to sit in there? Let's have a go. Whoops, a daisy. Let's see. Oh, can't get on it. There. Right, here goes. Oh, there you go. Nice. <laughs> that looks so cool. <laughs> I love it. I, do, I doubt if it'll stay there. Okay, still got a few to go. There you go. Oh, where are you going? Oh, you're going a bit high. Oh, don't go up that high. Oh, my goodness. No, you're supposed to be in here, not out there. Oh, dear. Dear, dear. Uh, let me get out. Now then, what are you doing up there? Oh, my wall's done good. I'm going to have to have it higher. Right, let's just see how it goes. Let's get these all in first. Oh, where's he going? No. Are we staying low? He's still up there. Oh, he's going up high as well. Look at him right up in that tree. Oh, two more outside. This is not good at all. Right, they're all going out, so I'm going to have to raise the wall. And why is this not breaking? Oh, my goodness, that takes so long. I've got it all on top of my wall. It's going to take me absolutely ages. Oh, my goodness. This is not going well. Oh, look. They're flying further and further away. I'm going to have to collect them all. Oh, 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 no. Okay, I collected them all. They're all in nets. And I'm making the wall higher. A lot higher. Oh, my goodness. This is so high. How high do I need to go? Okay, I made it as high as the trees. Oh dear. I think I'm going to have to put a roof on. I think I agree with Ben. He came over to have a little look. I think I need a roof. So I'm putting a wire roof on because it's, you know, open and air circulation and all that sort of jazz. This has taken an age to put on. Okay. That's done. I'm not quite sure that I like that look. To be honest, now that I've done it. What did I say about stepping back every so often and seeing how it was going? I didn't do that on this occasion. And now I've got it up. I really, really do not like it. It's like, um, it's almost as if the mesh merges when you're looking at it. And so it, it's like totally grey. Okay, I'm trying to ignore it for now. But um, I had to take the tree down, obviously, to get that in. So I'm going to try and put another tree in and see if it actually will grow underneath that mesh. And I'm also going to put the leaves back in and see what it looks like then. But I can't say I'm happy with that look right now. I just don't think it's, it looks right at all. 
Right, let's see if I can grow this tree. Got me bone meal. Let's stand over here. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Grow. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, I quite like that. I quite like that a lot, actually. like it better than the last one. That mesh has squashed it down. Well, I'm trying to ignore that roof bit. I've um, busied myself with doing some more pathing from the bridge here to the welcome centre. But I cannot ignore that ceiling. I just cannot. I just... Oh, look at it. Look at it. It's awful. No. It's got to come off. It's got to come off. That's that's. It's just got to come off. Oh, this is slow going. Oh, my goodness. Let me collect these bits up. Can I get back up there? Let me get back up. Come on. That's it. Oh. Oh, it's looking so much better. Is that glass? So much better. Oh, there's, there's one coming up. There's one coming up. He's trying to get out. Come on, quick. Quick. There we go. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Right. I just have to get on with it. Nearly done. I'm getting there. I'm into a rhythm now. They're quite happy down there, I think. Last bit. Oh my goodness me. That has taken such a long time. But I did it. Now I want some greenery up here. Just to soften these edges. But I'm liking it now. I am actually liking it. There we go. I didn't think I'd like the glass up here, to be honest. I think it's getting there. I think I'm really liking that now. Oh, look at them all. I think they like it in there. I think they're really happy. Because fl flamingos live in big groups and I didn't want just two or three in there. I wanted a lot in there. So I might actually put some more in there. Although I'm not quite sure they'd want me to have big numbers. So I think that's all I can fit into this episode. Because I don't want it to get too long. So, I hope you enjoyed the episode anyway. And if you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. So you can see more content like this. Look at those. Aren't they cute? Look at that. It's like a heart. A little heart. They're saying, we love you because you made us such a good habitat. Oh. Oh. What am I like? <laughs> I love it. I really do. Oh.